Hey guys, my name is Jamin. This is my channel PC Monkey, where I bring you a wide variety of computer do it yourself repair and upgrade videos. In this video, I'm going to show you what to do if you forget your Windows password and you can't get by it when trying to start your computer. Before we begin, guys, two quick things. First, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this video was helpful. If I do help you solve your problem and you want to support the channel a little bit more, feel free to drop me a super thanks. Guys, even a couple bucks goes a long way to me making these videos and also being on hand as often as possible for your questions and comments. If you do have a question and it's not below in the FAQs, leave it. I try to get back to those at least a couple times a day. Second and lastly, a quick shout out to my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash is the world's largest hash power marketplace. What that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to people who mine cryptocurrency and they pay you for that power in Bitcoin. Great way to earn some money on the side, great way to start investigating the world of crypto. You can check them out here or I'll fill you in a little bit more about them at the end of the video. So now let's get into the project. Well, I just started up this Asus ROG laptop. I'm gonna hit escape. As you can see here, it's not accepting any passwords. Just try to skip it. Password's incorrect. And no matter what you type in, password's incorrect. So if you forgot your password, here's what you do. You're going to hold down your shift key. And you're going to go over here and you're going to restart the computer. So we're going to hold down shift. Tap on this power button and hit restart. All while holding down your shift key. I'm, I'm still holding down on it. Okay, now I just let the shift key up once that restarted. So now you're in your recovery options here. So I'm going to go down to this third option, troubleshoot. Reset this PC. But for me, this computer is a purchased used laptop. I want to remove everything. I don't care about losing the data. Um, if it's you and you want to keep your data, you would choose this. Uh, hopefully you have a backup as well. Um, but I'm going to hit remove everything. And now the computer starts the restart process. So I'll stay here with you. I'll, I'll fast forward some parts that take a long time, but I'll show you what happens when this restart process is done. So this is asking a cloud or a local. I'm going to hit local. I'm going to select all drives. Because in this computer, there's more than one drive. A lot of you will only have one hard drive. And then I'm going to select fully clean the drive. It's just warning you that this can't be undone erasing all these files. I'm good with that. I'm going to click on reset. And we're off now. Another thing to keep in mind, guys, make sure your computer's plugged in through this process. This reset can take a long time sometimes, and you definitely don't want your computer running out of power during a reset. So definitely please make sure your computer's plugged in. So just as a warning, um, it's at 95% now, but this is over an hour and a half, uh, maybe even two hours since the reset started. Um, so just be aware that this could take some time. So now it's reinstalling Windows for us. As you can see down here, your PC will restart several times. So just so you know, if it does do that, that's why. All right, so now we're kind of at the same screen you'd see with a new Windows install. So I'm just going to go through these options with you. Uh, select your region. I'm going to hit next or yes, rather. Uh, is this the right keyboard layout? Yes. Do you want to add another keyboard layout? No, I'm going to hit skip. If you guys choose to connect to a network on a new install or a factory reset like this, you're going to be forced to either sign into a Microsoft account or create a new Microsoft account. Because I don't want to be forced into that choice, I'm going to click on this button here. I don't have internet. I'm going to have Windows set up without internet. Um, and I'm going to click that button again, confirming that choice. I'm going to hit accept to the TNCs. That way, this computer will finish setting up and then I can log into a Wi-Fi network, then I can update, and then I can choose what I want to do about a Microsoft account. Who's going to use this PC? I'm just going to call it ASUS for now. Hit next. I'll password. I'm just going to hit next and skip. 
Okay, privacy settings. I usually like having all these things off. Um, I don't like giving people data without them paying for it. <laughs> so I'm just going to shut all these things off, make it easier, hit accept. And then I'm not going to allow this for now either. Um, Cortana having access to more data. I'm not going to allow that now. All right, so it's finishing up. All right, and there we go. We're at your desktop. Okay, so now you're at your desktop. Windows is installed. You after this process, what I would do uh, to make sure the computer is running well, I would go into updates after signing on to a Wi-Fi network and I would run all your updates. This is basically a new version of Windows and you're going to have a lot of updates. Uh, so to take you as an example through that, to go into it a little more in depth, there'll be a video link up here showing you how to process all those updates. Before ending this video, please remember to like, share, subscribe if this was helpful. Uh, if I did help you out from a hard spot, uh, feel free to leave a super thanks. And as I mentioned before the video, I'll fill you in a little bit now more on my sponsor, NiceHash. NiceHash, as mentioned, is the world's largest hash power marketplace. Again, what that means for you is you can now rent out your computer's unused power online to cryptocurrency miners who will then pay you in Bitcoin. It is a great way to put your computer to work without you having to work yourself. It's a great way to invest in Bitcoin uh, without any actual investment. You've already bought the computer. It's already using electricity. Um, this just puts it to work for you. And in this way you can start learning the world of crypto without risking your investment. Uh, you can store your money on their wallets. You can use their research tools to research other cryptocurrencies, and you can use their exchange feature to trade for other cryptocurrencies. It's a fascinating world. It's really kind of fun. Uh, feel free to click this link for more info. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I do try to get back to you guys a couple times a day at least. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you on my next video.